Comic book and potential show spoilers. So about 200 years ago, I made a video comparing The Walking Dead to Z Nation. In this video, I made an offhand comment saying something like, Rick ain't gonna die, meaning like anytime soon, which was correct, by the way. Then like three years later, Andrew Lincoin, who played Rick, left the series. Not dead, but as good as dead. I mean, there are meant to be some movies made about him, and earlier this year, he was killed off in the comics, shot by some punk in the Commonwealth, which is a large community we haven't seen yet in the show. Or haven't we? Not yet se seen. Them. Anyway, the point is, as soon as Rick left, the internet in all its glory tore me a new asshole. I suppose it was foolish of me to make such an offhand comment. I must have been an idiot to make such predictions about a show that frivolously kills off its characters on a whim. So here I go again! Here are several deathly predictions for season 10 of The Walking Dead. Come at me, internet, you fucking beautiful beast, you. <laughs> Death 1. Michonne. Dead or abducted? Denai Guerrero, who plays Michonne, has confirmed that season 10 will be her last season of The Walking Dead, but will she be killed off or abducted similarly to Rick? The Rick movies, or at least one movie, is still in the works, supposedly, which we believe might be the Commonwealth arc from the comics, so maybe Michonne will join Rick in this movie and thus can't die in the show. Or, seeing as in the comics, Andrea, who was killed off years ago in the series, who is still alive up to this point in the comics, was killed during the War of the Whisperer is what we're seeing play out now. Perhaps Michonne will take her death place as in the comics Andrea was Rick's gal, similar to how Michonne is, or was Rick's girl. So using this information, my educated prediction is that Michonne will contract syphilis from a hedgehog in the woods which will mutate due to the zombie virus which will cause her arms and jaw to become gangrenous and thus be removed, ironically turning her into the living embodiment of her previous zombie guardians, for a short while anyway. But as this happens during her abduction by the Commonwealth, she will end up in the Commonwealth who, using the superior technology, will give her robot arms and jaw, turning Michonne into the ultimate zombie killing machine. Unfortunately, the procedure also causes her to have a stroke, which causes permanent amnesia, and thus Michonne will never return to her friends nor family, as she simply has no memory of them. But she will remain a near-immortal post-apocalyptic super cyborg. So in a way, the Michonne we know will be dead, but in her stead, will become an even more badass robot Michonne. Sounds a bit far-fetched, I know, but not really I mean, it's obvious once you notice all the little signs and not so subtle hints. Death 2, Gabriel Stokes. In the comics, he was killed by Beta during the Whisper of War, War of the Whisperers, hung upside down and disemboweled, then eaten to the bone by walkers. This scene was so savage, there's no way they're gonna leave it out of the show. At least they'd be foolish not to. Two. Not to. They shouldn't leave it out. But will it be Gabriel or Ezekiel or someone else who gets this graphic death? Ezekiel was beheaded and staked in the comics, as was Rosita, but in the show they were spared. So are they going to be killed off or let to live on like Daryl? My prediction is that Gabriel, in an effort to bring the community together, will start a Mahjong club, having always been a fan of the Chinese game. However, only two other people know how to play, Rosita and Ezekiel. No one else cares to learn either, so it's just the three of them. During one of their game nights, Beta, having snuck to the camp, kicks in the door, and taking the trio by surprise, disembowels all three of them. He then ties their guts together and attaches a series of helium balloons to the roped guts, then releases them into the night sky. What becomes of the floating, soon-to-be-zombified trio? And where did Beta get all those balloons from? I guess the writers will leave that one up to our imagination. Or will they? Perhaps we will see them again in the future. Just gonna have to stay tuned to find out, I guess. Death 3 Alpha In the comics, she is killed by Negan, who infiltrates the Whisperer's gang, slits her throat, and cuts her freaking head off. This sends Beta into a rampage, which is what more or less starts the epic Whisperer War. So will it be Negan who beheads the zombie queen, or will Negan be killed? I predict both Negan and Alpha will die. Negan will slit Alpha's throat, then Alpha will slit Negan's throat, then Negan will cut Alpha's head off, and Alpha will then cut Negan's head off. Then Negan will take both their heads back to Alexandria gang and be rewarded for his loyalty by being gifted a piece of pumpkin pie dusted with cinnamon. Makes sense if you think about it, but not too hard. And finally, Death 4. Now, once the Whisperer War comes to an end, the show will be dangerously close to where we are up to in the comics, so it's possible they will stretch out this arc over another season. But regardless, Beta has to die. So towards the end of the main Whisperer War, Beta attacks Aaron and Jesus, who is still alive in the comics. They scuffle for a bit and Aaron shoots him in the chest and he dies, probably pooping his pants shortly after. That bit's not in the comics, I just assumed he shat himself, as do most things after death. Anyway, Jesus is dead in the show, so how is this gonna play? I mean, it's gotta be Daryl, right? He hasn't done much lately, so we assume it could be him. 
that takes out Alpha, I mean Beta. But isn't that a bit obvious? My prediction is, you guessed it, the disemboweled floating Mahjong enthusiasts make an epic comeback. Remember how Beta sent them off into the sky? Well, over time, the gang finally reaches an altitude where the pressure was too great for the balloon and they've popped. The well and truly zombified trio then fall back to Earth, landing on Beta, killing him in an epic explosion of guts and gore. Gabriel's zombified head remains intact, however, and ends up gnawing on Beta's exposed buttocks. Expectations subverted yet again. With another healthy dose of irony, the very thing that Beta created came back to bite him in the bum literally. Obviously, after seeing this, the rest of the Whisperers run away, never to be seen nor heard from again. So that's like, what, six deaths I predict will happen in Season 10 of The Walking Dead. I'm pretty sure I'm 100% correct this time, so hopefully I don't get a whole bunch of shitty comments that usually start with something like, um, actually? Anyway, have fun with the rest of your day, friends. I'm gonna get some Indian food, then drink some delicious beer in the spa. If you have any predictions for the upcoming season of TWD, then leave a comment, and let's get a friendly discussion going. Thanks for watching, friends. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like and all that fucking crap. Yeah.